here we go again. I haven't done a vlog in a while and I apologize for that. I've just been crazy busy. 2022 has been a bigger year that I could have imagined or predicted. It's It's been crazy. And there's, there's so much going on. Um, we always knew that we were under-resourced and we needed more people and we needed more uh, stock and we need more a place to put the stock and we need more space. So we've been tackling that and bit by bit uh, we've employed a heap of people in 2022. I think the first in January was our product manager um, and we've got, like investing in this is paying off. I'll talk about that because um, we've got we finally got the launch of the um, uh, the Predator rear bar for Y62 series fours and fives. The the launch will go out today on social media and e-blast to everyone um, that has subscri subscribed to our website. But uh, and that we're starting to push products out. Um, so yeah, we had uh, uh, Darren, our product manager, come on. We've in four x four DNA. We've hired a TA, another mechanic, uh, in the warehouse here. We're uh, getting shipments every month. We've hired another dedicated person for the warehouse. Uh, there's another fitter starting today here actually, and we still need two more. We need one more fitter and one more mechanic. And you must be thinking <laughs> the same thing as me. How are we all gonna fit in this space? Because, you know, <laughs> that's the warehouse and there's more coming. Um, we are going to take on not take on genuine Nissan because you can't take on Nissan, but we are going to start stocking Nissan because we're getting to the point where so many people roll through here at 4x4 DNA. Uh, we had someone booked in for airbags and all of a sudden they needed a starter motor. Well, to get a starter motor out of Nissan is like three weeks. And so what I've done is I've gone through the Nissan catalogue and had a look at everything I've ever heard of someone breaking and ordered it. <laughs> so um, some of the stock's already arrived and we'll be doing photographs. I've got a website soon. But uh, power steering racks, power steering pumps, aircon, um, uh, brake switches, drive shafts, obviously, uh, all the things that, are, all the trips that I've been on and also working here, I've heard someone say, oh, I've busted this. Instead of waiting, oh, bloody O2 sensors, air fuel ratio sensors, math sensors, all, all the stuff that I hear that goes wrong, I don't want to have to wait for Nissan to deliver it. So we're just going to stock it and walk next door and grab it and we can support 4x4 DNA better than ever before and we can double down and support all of I guess the the Y62 industry better because if you want something uh, you'll be able to go on the website see if it's in stock and bang grab it and off you go so yeah lots of exciting stuff I should oh, I know the thumbnail was clickbaity and I'll get to that um, I'll show you the rear bar again and, and what we're doing so um it's it's official it's out now so series five uh it's got the sensor in here this penetrates through um the the wings because that's made of alloy that's made of steel um it is probably a little bit more sensitive i've noticed driving around uh but you know it just means that little orange light probably just comes on a little bit more often um no big deal series four uh y62s have got a different sensor so as in the TIL, so it doesn't work. So if you really want one for a Series 4 TIL, just I can tell you now the, the main departure won't work. Um, and we've pre-cut the holes at uh, 26 millimeters. So um, they're only really gonna work for Series 4 and 5s at the moment. Um, this is the what we've done with the camera. Clean that up. Um, so that sits in there nice and neat. And this is the light we've finally decided on. It's pretty bright actually. Arguably, maybe too bright for reverse light, but let's just not reverse, hook them up to reverse. So we're not gonna do that one anymore. That was just a bit of a, a trial. But everything's working really good. Happy, very happy with the bar. So that's gone, we're doing pre-orders. They'll be coming in August. Uh, now, as I was talking about the space in this place, it's just too big, but every hoist is full. If we get a dead car, we're stuffed. Or if we're doing um, you know, a, a locker or diff gears or something, because that kills a hoist. And at the moment we've got five hoists and six people on tools. So we need more space. Um, we kind of made a decision, you saw that earlier in, I think it was late January, that we were going to move to uh, a place in Salisbury, uh, Salisbury South, I think they call it, or Salisbury Plain. 
and for the lack of a better word, we're going to call that Sally, and this is Eddie. So we're going to move Dash to Sally. Um, it's double, so that's 270 square metres next door. Sally will be 500 square metres. So it's going to be much, much bigger and we'll have room for all that genuine Nissan and we've got some other projects and there's extra stock. I want to get out of this concept of pre-order and you have to wait for stuff. I just want everything in. So like, we've really doubled down on stock. If you want a diff drop now, they're there in stock. If you want a Predator bar, they're there in stock. It's all ready to go. Um, and we're going to try and stay on top of that by getting heaps more containers in. But then that brings us to a problem. I spend so much time at Eddie uh, in the 4x4 DNA space. If I go to, to Dash at Sally, that's like I'm going to lose that synergy. And the momentum that, that we've had, and, and we know that we work better, Steve and I work better together. And we really had to decide, is, is it time to split? On the 1st of May, we've been, we got handed the keys for Eddie and we started operating 1st of June. We're getting the keys for Sally 1st of uh, May this year uh, and starting to move across. And almost like it was meant to happen, the place that we're renting at Sally opened up next door. So there's actually two 500 square meter spaces now and the potential to have a thousand square meters of Y62 glory, <laughs> all in the one spot. So we really thought about this hard because it's a commitment. Uh, it cost heaps of money to set this place up with hoist and all that, but we're gonna do it. We are gonna move both teams um, to Sally. Uh, there's executive officers there. There'll be a, a better showroom, more space. Uh, polished concrete floors in the workshop. It's really going to be a nice setting and the width of the road um, or you know when you're driving past the place it's a, it's a rectangle on the side so uh, I don't know it must be like 50 meters of you know dash DNA you're going to drive past um, as you go past on the road so very very exciting things coming uh, and we're going to keep doing what we've done from the beginning invest as heavily as you can in time, money and resources into the Y62s because um, for a long time no one did it. So we'll um, try and offer that service. The car parking's also been a problem here. Uh, anyone that's actually been here will realise that you can't even find somewhere to park when you rock up. So we're going to have heaps more car parking. <laughs> we won't have to work out of shipping containers and my office because i got kicked out of the showroom office into this container and then i got kicked out of that when um matt our warehouse guy started so now i'm working out of another container office so in the new place we'll have you, you know nice i think there's five or six offices boardroom a proper you know kitchen like it's we're actually doing it for real <laughs> um, it's going to be sad though because this place was so important to us now we've got a you know the, the biggest thing to dash off road and 4x4 DNA has been um, uh, the people and the culture, uh, the transparency that we talk within ourselves and to you guys, by the way, um, and having all the, you know, the best product. So to keep all of those three things going in a new location would be a challenge, um, but it's, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be great. So that was just a little quick update of what's going on. Uh, we'll get back into reviews and other products next week. I think I'm going to review some um, safety day products next week with um, tire pressure sensors for your caravan and then there's all sorts of other stuff happening too. So just a little quick video to show you what's going on in the world of Dash and 4x4 DNA. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah.